Hey guys, Metal Jesus here, and today we're back with some gameplay footage. This is me playing, I'm gonna try to pronounce this, it's Ketsui Death Tiny. Death Tiny. Now, here's the thing about this, is that I, I talked about this cave shooter, shoot em up, in my recent games pickups video, and with a straight face, I was saying, hey, it's called Death Tiny. And a lot of people are like, uh, dude, Actually, you're supposed to kind of say it as though it's Deathtony, like like you have a, a lisp or something, which could be true. I don't know, to be quite honest with you. I mean, the, the game on the spine is called Deathtony. Anyways, I just thought that was kind of funny. It probably is death, supposed to be Destiny, but with a lisp, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. You tell me. So like I said, this is a cave shoot 'em up that was originally in arcades, I believe back in... 2002? I think that's what the copyright says when you first fire this up. I am playing this on the PlayStation 5, so it's technically a PlayStation 4 game. I'm playing it on the PlayStation 5, which is why you are seeing it in 4K, and I believe this is close to uh, 60 frames a second. Yeah, it is. So, um, looks and runs great. Okay, so here's the thing about this game and the reason why I wanted to share the gameplay footage with you, because, you know, there are a lot of cave shooters out there. This one is really fun. But it wasn't until I started going through the footage that I really started to notice the stuff on the left and the right. Now, here's the thing. When you're playing these games, I mean, you are laser focused on just trying to survive, right? These games have a lot going on. Uh, honestly, when I play these kind of games, I'm really just looking at the cockpit of my, my ship because uh, typically that's, that's the area that you need to just survive this bullet hell. But what I thought was really interesting about this game and why I want to share it is, again, is all the stuff on the left and the right. Normally in these kind of games, you would see a graphic that is on the left and the right. Usually some sort of character from the game or something like that, you know, because they're because in the arcades, of course, this would be, you know, in Tate mode. And so you would mostly just have the, the gameplay in the screen. But again, I thought this was really interesting use of that 16 by 9 screen there. And what I mean is all that stuff over there actually is telling you stuff. Now, again, this is not useful when you're playing necessarily. Maybe it is. I don't know. But I, I can't imagine trying to dart my eyes back and forth between trying to survive the main screen and trying to pick up stuff on the left. Maybe if I got used to what I was supposed to pay attention to, you know, usually I play these shoot 'em ups just to blow stuff up. But there's obviously um, a lot more going on here when it comes to scoring and how all that stuff works. But again, I thought this was really cool because you're getting you're getting real-time information about all sorts of stuff like well you see like the the type of ship that i'm using um also you know it's showing the the rate counter so i assume that's used for scoring which of course is something that uh i typically don't even try to do i mean i love these games but usually i'm just trying to get to the end uh but then you see all this other stuff here too like down at the bottom it's literally showing you real time what buttons i'm pushing on my controller and what direction like i'm moving the thumbstick i thought that was pretty cool and by the way i know it's a super easy up there i'm not ashamed i mean these games as you see they're hard and honestly that's a good way to learn the levels and kind of get used to the controls. At least that's uh, my excuse, yeah. The other thing that's pretty cool is that on the right, you're seeing the progression of the level. So it's showing you exactly how far into the level you are and when you're gonna get to the end with the boss. So in many ways, I think this is actually designed maybe for, well, the first thing that came to mind when I saw this, I'm like, oh man, this is really good for streaming, right? This would be good for people who are watching you play a game and kind of want to get more into the statistics and what exactly is happening in the game and how far into the level you are, when the boss is coming up. I thought that was, again, pretty cool. And every once in a while, you'll see that I will earn a, uh, a trophy, a Japanese trophy. So. I can't always understand what it's saying, but I do love seeing those in my trophy list. It's just one of those kind of exotic things that you only get when you play imports. It's stupid, I know, but it's just one of those things that puts a big smile on my face. So it's a really great game. I'm glad that it, it got a physical release. 
If you like shoot 'em ups and you have a PS4, uh, definitely check it out. Also, I was seeing that maybe there actually was a uh, a boss a boss rush version of this released on the DS. I had no idea, so I'm probably gonna have to hunt that one down as well. But anyways, guys, enjoy the footage.
an attack. Your mission starts now. Are you ready?